Reverend Jimmy Swaggart, what is Trinity? What is Trinity? We believe the Word of God teaches that there is one God, not 2, 5, 10, 12, 15, one God, manifest in three persons, three different personalities. We believe there is a Heavenly Father, we believe there is God the Son, and we believe the Holy Ghost, as Mr. D. Dot mentioned, that came upon Mary, is also God. They are indivisible, meaning they agree perfectly. They are one in unity. They never disagree. They never have disagreed. We believe that when you get to heaven, if you get there, Jesus Christ, the Son of God, will be seated according to the Word of God by the right hand of the Father and will actually maintain that throne forever, basically. That's what we mean by the Trinity in a short nutshell. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess he's going to be given the next, the, the same question to answer. We have a time exactly for two more questions. Mr. Didat, do you believe in the Holy Ghost? Why or why not? <laughs> okay. You see, the idea of the Holy Ghost in Christendom is that he's one in a trinity. But the Christian says that the Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Ghost is God. But they are not three gods, but one God. In his catechism, he continues that the Father is Almighty, the Son is Almighty, and the Holy Ghost is Almighty. But they are not three Almighties, but one Almighty. It continues, your catechism. It says the Father is a person, the Son is a person, and the Holy Ghost is a person. That's what Brother Swagger says in his book. Person, person, person. But not three person, but one person. I am asking what language are you speaking? I am asking, is that English? By God, it is gibberish, it's not English. You see, you say person, 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 but not three person, but one person. I say, Brother Swagat, you and your two other brothers, let's say you are three identical triplets. And we can't make the difference out between the three of you. They're all identical. We can't make out the difference. If one of you commit murder, can we hang the other? You say no. I'm asking why not? So you tell me that he's a different person. I said, right. What makes him different? His personality. So the father, you know, imagination, the human mind, you can't help. When you use words, they conjure up mental pictures. When you say in the name of the Father, you have a certain mental picture of that old Father Christmas, Santa Claus, millions and millions of times bigger than man, but something like a man sitting on some planet with his feet dangling onto the earth as his footstool, the heaven as his canopy, the loving Father in heaven. When you say God the Son, I'm asking, are you thinking of a prize bull or a false one? No. You're thinking of a handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features. Something like what you saw in the King of Kings, Jesus of Nazareth, you know, uh, on the day of triumph where Jeffrey Hunter was acting. You know, handsome young man, blonde hair, blue eyes, handsome features, nice beard, not with a poly nose, with a crooked nose. That might make other pictures come into your mind. You know, Shakespeare made Shylock famous. Is a Shylock, Shylock, no. You see, so you're thinking of somebody like an Englishman or a Nordic or a German type with a straight nose, the sun. And the Holy Ghost, something that came like a dove when Jesus was baptized in the river Jordan by John the Baptist or something that came in flames of fire at Pentecost. I said, the picture is not very vivid, but the picture is there. You have three distinct mental pictures. And however hard you try, you can never superimpose those three pictures and create one. There will ever be three in your mind. But when I ask you how many pictures you see, you say one, you are lying to me. Brothers and sisters, you are lying to me. <laughs> Actually, we have about three minutes. Mr. Swaggart, this uh, question is from the management. Do you give us permission to everyone interested in obtaining a copy of this event? Um, number one. Number two. Why didn't you allow televising this event? 
And number three, we have offered this opportunity to televise this event in Mecca, but it was refused. Shame on you, you did misquote me. I did not say that God is a person, the Son is a person, the Holy Ghost is a person, and they are one person. I didn't say that. I said there is one God, not one person. Um, it seems to me they're televising it. I see one, two, three, four, five cameras. You said they're not televising it? They're televising it, aren't they? I'm, I'm a little confused. I don't understand. Do you give us permission uh, for everyone interested in obtaining a copy of, of this event? Video? Yes, we will certainly do that, providing that you do not edit the tapes. Okay. You see, I know a little bit about television, and you can make anyone say just about anything you want them to say by chopping it up. We are experts at that, Mr. D. Dat. And uh, I would trust this man. Are you looking at me, sir? I trust you. But I don't trust the whole world that I do not see. And we ask to sign a statement if you wanted to televise it and take it with you, do whatever you want to do with it, providing that you tell us where you are going to edit it and how you're going to cut it up. I think that's only fair. We would not want to take anything he said and chop it up and make him to seem to say something that he did not say. That wouldn't be right nor fair. And I think that we've been just about as Christian as anyone could ever be with it. <laughs> Okay, it's a very interesting video. Uh, some of the points that came up were uh, Jimmy Swaggart, uh, he was explaining the idea of the Trinity, kind of just uh, breaking it down, uh, that there is just the, the, you know, the one God and uh, manifests into three persons, uh, three distinct uh, personalities, but still agree as the one God. Amadidat counters, well, in his question anyways, he was asked if he believed in the Holy Spirit. And um, I think his answer was saying that he doesn't believe it in the Christian way of some person that is also God, because um, Muslims just believe in the, the oneness of God. And if you say, well, this God is into three and everything, when you compare it to, let's say, triplets, for instance, um, you, you know that there are three different persons, so how can one person be three persons? So the argument for the Trinity that was made, it's a pretty standard one that I've uh, I've heard uh, from other speakers as well too, that you know there is the one God, but God is able to manifest himself into three distinct uh, persons and are always in agreement of exactly what each of the other members of the Godhead are are doing i think i've come to the conclusion or i'm coming to the conclusion the more and more and more i see videos like this and hear the different um arguments that are are, are used that if somebody believes something no matter what it is it will make sense to them how their brain put it together it just makes sense